Hello everyone and welcome to my official apartment tour video which I've been teasing for a long ass time and I forgot to film an intro and outro so here's Boo. Thanks for watching! So when you first walk into our apartment, you enter the living room. A lot of this furniture is actually secondhand, and I'll go into a little bit more detail to explain. So starting off, this art piece is extra special because it was in my roommate's childhood home growing up, and it fits so perfectly within the front area of our apartment, so we had to put it up here. In the front, we also have this vintage ladder and this throw blanket that was ethically made, as well as this gorgeous art piece by Callum Mickle. In addition, we also have this gorgeous, gorgeous Klimt art piece that is hanging above our sofa. Fun fact, we actually found it on the street um, and may or may not have stolen it, but probably did not steal it. Anyways, moving on. As for the sofa, it's actually a hand-me-down from my roommate's dad, and all of the throw pillows are from this vintage store called Dobbin Street Vintage uh, that's based in Brooklyn. They have a couple locations, but they're really cool. As for the standing lamp, we got it from Craigslist for a really great deal, which was really nice. Which leads me to this chair, which actually was repurposed. According to the couple, we bought it off of Craigslist as well, and it just is such a stunning piece for our living room. And then up next, I will bring you to this corner of awkwardness that we still have yet to figure out what to do with. And even though we can't use this fireplace, at least we have the uh, exposed brick, you know? You know? Exposed brick. So I know it's not the most glamorous, but we're kind of just using the space for storage and as Boo's sort of kitty corner, which you can see here, she's taken over. But if you have any ideas for what we should do with it, leave them in the comments. So that was sort of the main living room area. Now we'll head into the dining slash kitchen area. The kitchen's definitely where I spend a lot of time and we actually have so much more storage than we did in our last apartment, so really enjoy spending time here, especially now that we have a dishwasher. I cleaned precisely one pantry for you guys just to show you, so here it is. All of our spices, I have my vitamins in there as well and everything is stored in glass as you can see. That huge wooden cutting board is secondhand, the tea kettle is secondhand, the cast iron skillet I found in the bottom of my apartment one day, some people were moving out and left it. One thing that is a little bit tough about this kitchen is the surface areas stain a little bit easily. I've used soap, I've tried vinegar, if you have any suggestions, please send them my way. On the rare occasion that I do decide to wash my dishes by hand and not just put them in the dishwasher, I have some bulk soap from Precycle and this wooden dish brush that I got online. And then underneath all of this is where I store my reusable cloth bags and I have dishwasher powder. Next up is everyone's favorite, the bathroom. I promise I won't talk about this for too long, but just want to show you some of the cool things that we do have in here. For example, this really awesome ode to feminism and women with this really cool handmade curtain that we use for our shower. We also have this wooden storage piece that we bought off of the previous tenants. And we put some things in here, just like cleaning supplies, and then obviously our TP. Right next to this we have some more art pieces, also dedicated to women and feminism and all that good, good stuff. Moving on, here's the sink area. You can see my bamboo toothbrush. Here are all of my, or some of my beauty products. I use some hair oil. Um, I have some rose hip oil for my face that I use as a moisturizer. I also have this tonic that I kind of use as a mouthwash, as well as tooth powder that I get from Bestowed Essentials. I'm a big fan, been using them for a long time. And then finally, I have some floss, which is not compostable and I actually don't really recommend it because it came in plastic. But um, yeah, that's what I, what I use. Here's more of the general sink area. We also, oh, oh hey there, hi. Just behind the mirror, we also have some more storage area. So I won't go over everything that I use. There's uh, quite a bit of stuff. And then some of the stuff is also my roommates, but I did a video on my zero waste toiletries a while back. So I'll link to that in the caption below. Okay, that's enough bathroom talk for one video. Now let's move on to the main event, AKA my room. 
overall, I wanted to have a space that I could feel really calm and get away from any stress. So all of my art is super minimalist, which is exactly my style. As you can see, I also have hung my hats on the wall. So you can see on the top, I have a sun hat. It's from Goran Brothers. On the left is my black hat that I've had from before Zero Waste Days, as well as my blue beret, also from before Zero Waste Days. Just below my hat wall is this really simple wicker chair I got secondhand from Big Reuse, as well as this weirdly shaped tripod that I haven't moved since that one time I made an IGTV video for you guys. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it now. Please thank you. Sitting just across from the chair is this plant. I'm gonna butcher the name. It's a Calathea plant that is in a pot that I found on the street and the stand I actually picked up from Dobbin Street Co-op, so it's secondhand as well. This is another piece from Callan Mickle who I discovered on Instagram and absolutely love. The frame on this one and actually on this one as well were secondhand that I picked up from Big Reuse. Also hanging on the wall is this hanging plant. So the hanger itself I actually made using twine that I found secondhand. And then the pot is from a small maker, I think in the area, and it's covered in boobs. So, you know, gotta keep up with the theme. Next up is one of my absolute favorite finds. It's the secondhand piece of furniture that I'm storing lots of things in. So first, you might have seen this uh, in a video recently. I did a vlog and I picked up this gorgeous jewelry hanger, which was once from West Elm on the street. So it was free and I have since put all of my jewelry pieces on here. I also have this plant that's propagating as well as a candle that a friend gave me and some weed that I picked up from the farmer's market. Just below in a mason jar, I stored all these small rags. So I use them as tissues. And then here you can see my homemade laundry powder in this basket and the basket just above I sort of store all of the things that are not really pretty so like paperwork and all that other kind of stuff going back to some more of the art stuff is this piece that was made for me by this girl on Instagram she goes by titty pics and the frame is also secondhand so this piece also is of me actually <laughs> if you can look real close that's my face so thank you Ray for this piece um, and I stored it in a secondhand frame up next is sort of my bedside area. It was once a plant stand that I got from Dobbin Street Vintage, um, and I just put my secondhand lamp on here. And then hanging on the wall is this gorgeous, stunning pothos that is hanging and trailing, and I can't wait until it actually touches the floor someday. I even uh, put it up myself, so I'm glad you can't see the shitty job I did, but you know, I, I guess it was good enough. <laughs> Real quick, just want to go back to this lamp, which I got secondhand off of Craigslist. It's made of wood and white metal, which I've had for the last couple of years. I absolutely adore it. And then right next to it is this tiny little plant. Um, I don't know if my roommate knows that I put it in my room, but it's hanging out. It's not dying. I promise I won't kill it. And then for the piece de resistance, it's my closet, which is actually really not that exciting. It's quite small, but because my clothing wardrobe is small, it really doesn't matter to me that much. On the floor, obviously, I have all my shoes. Every single one of these pairs is secondhand except for the tennis shoes, which I have had for the last several years. And then also, you know, just more storage in my closet. And last but not least, if you ever wonder why it looks like I'm filming in front of the front door, it's not because I am. I just have a random front door in my room, so I don't know what it's for. Don't ask me. I don't use it, but here we are, so that's fun. So that's it, that's uh, that's my whole apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a little peek into my life. If you have any ideas for that little nook, let me know. And here's me saying bye. Okay, bye.